Shout out to my nigga Pharaoh. I came with the yell, 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 yell. The hip hop police, they been at they been at Cause I'm preaching sub love and sub mass. Yes, I am. I came to talk about the God in you. God in you. Goddess and God's how we got him. Push over, When we was the slaves, what the Bible what do? do? Confuse us, no, you can't be high as us. Take away knowledge. It's easy to hide the That's proof. Fucked up. So much power inside of you. That's right. Peace and love, family. Peace and love. What's up again? This is your boy, Pharaoh Nefertem. And I'm coming at with, to you. Uh, sorry. <laughs> I'm coming to you with a download I just got. Um, the power of chaos. The power of randomness. The power of a feminine energy. And now, get this, when I say chaos, don't think of it as negative. You think of chaos as random. Just random events that occur, AKA emotions. Women are more naturally feminine than men and the, and the feminine energy is randomness. The male energy is more uh, straightforward, right? Direct, right? It goes out, right? And the reason why I brought it up is because of how, how powerful the feminine energy is. It's, it's not even the feminine energy, the randomness, that, that chaos is, is, is powerful when used correctly. For example, I had a thought just now that I wanted to um that, that I wanted to um make a video and then I, I was trying trying to think of a topic I was using my masculine energy to to try to think of a topic I was like trying to think trying to think trying to think of something and nothing was popping up and then in my mind I was like you know what let me just go to my feminine energy let the let my thoughts just wander randomly right into the chaos, into the randomness, right? Statistically speaking, the randomness, right? And then let me just see what comes out. And this came out. And I was like, wow, that was powerful. That was powerful when I let my, my masculine energy take a back seat and then let the feminine energy come up. And then I almost immediately got, got the idea, like it didn't even take long. It was, it was really interesting and you can apply that to a lot of things in your life for example if you're in a relationship with somebody and you feel like you or your partner are being really masculine one thing to do is to put your masculine frame back one and then put your feminine frame in the front right and when and when you do that you allow the 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 positive force of the feminine energy to be brought upon the situation right and, and in doing so you can avoid so much headache and heartache and just stuff that's not necessary and um i just wanted i just wanted to, 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 to put that out there the feminine energy is very powerful so in this society, especially in Western culture, we are more in our masculine. Most of us write with, with our right hand, which is the masculine hand, because the right side of your right hand controls the left side of your brain, which is the masculine side of your brain. And so it's, we are taught to be masculine. We are taught to be overly masculine. Not once masculine, we're taught to be overly masculine, right? Either we're taught to be overly masculine or we're taught to be negatively feminine you following me and and we, we got to find that balance we got to find that my art that my art right we got to find that balance so that we can really do what we got to do and uh i just really wanted to put that out there for everybody who feels like you're, you're being really really masculine or, or you feel like you're getting a lot of masculine energy try try switching to a feminine energy when when responding or or reacting or or just doing 
whatever that is that you're that you were about to do right and see the positive results that come out of that now they will only be positive if your mindset is positive if what you're trying to do is a positive thing right if you're trying to do a negative thing a negative thing is going to come out so just make sure you do things with with a good heart right your your heart has to be lighter than a feather right so with that being said guys love you guys i appreciate you guys um this is my my day six of no inhaler it's so amazing i haven't used my inhaler in six days yo i've never done that never in life i'm gonna i'm gonna be excited when i hit day 30. i'll be so excited i'm already excited but i can already see how amazing it's gonna be with that being said y'all love you guys again um, make sure to like share subscribe you know help me out to help the people out because this information has to get out there that being said peace out